So John Paul, if you could just, as we take the video, if you could just explain in your own words. So, am I correct that, but that uh, here, what we're doing is air is the the fulcrum of the pumping yes. uh, rubber. Mm -hmm. The pumping rubber is taking the movement from the rosette here mm -hmm. with this with this ball Ro bearing, and we have a, a, a first lever which could be adjusted when you and want uh, a, a changing, a, a changing the length from here to here. And the beauty of this and is that we're pumping. It's, it's to do pumping using pumping using the same uh, rosette which is also used for rocking. Rocking with the hose uh, rubber, which is uh, on this side. And for and example, Jean Claude, if you're doing something like fish scale ornamentation, yeah. it's essential. Yes, and sure. If you want to do fish scales, you should have a, a pumping while you you rock. Yes. Yeah. You could have also only uh, pumping to do fish scales. Yeah. But you have, uh, if you have more uh, sophisticated fish scales, yeah. it's nice to, to, to combine pumping and rocking. And here again we're looking at the variable voltage drive. Yeah, I it can change the speed change by speed. changing the voltage entering uh -huh. in the main motor, main driving motor. Well, over here we're using very effective bicycle chain. It's not, it's not a bicycle chain, no, it's no. smaller than a bicycle right. chain. Uh, a bicycle thing. chain is half inch thick, right. this one is 8 millimeter. 8 millimeter yeah, yeah. And, that's, that's and the motor is a, a DC motor, 24 volts with a gearbox. With, with a very a, good range of speed. The output of the gearbox is from uh, around 10, 10 RPM. And we're seeing a load of uh, the rocking. Yeah, the, the, the rocking is controlled by a spring. Mm -hmm. The spring is uh, on this down, uh, down down way. Da to, to, to make the, the machine as compact as possible, I have transformed the movement. Rather than having the, the spring on the because ear, I have the spring here. Very the compact and in in moving to do demonstration. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, what we have in here is a series of springs. The, the, from spring, the, the spring strength could be adjusted mm -hmm. by using this uh, screw mm -hmm. to compress the spring. Yes, and yes, on the other side, uh, there is a, a screw which is an end screw. This end screw is uh, piloted by the retractor. And the, retractor. I, the retractor, I will set the retractor to show you how it is set. The retractor is a, is a gearbox, in fact, warm on wheel gearbox, and the, the worm is connected to the, to the end screw, and slowly the end screw will be unwind to make the tool entering in the piece. Yes. And to make the rubber entering in the rosette. Very beautiful, straightforward. And, and the connection between the, sh the spindle and the the worm is made by a red, a green uh, belt. And this controls to make sure the, the cutter. The cutter. This this controls the the distance between the rosette and the rubber. So when we start, the rubber is not in contact with the rosette. Slowly, the rubber becomes in contact with the rosette, and at the same time, the cutter advance. Advance. The cutter is is, is fixed. Yes. It is a piece which is moving yes. to the cutter. Yes. So with the rocking, the wood is uh, the, the the metal is coming yeah. and flipping, coming back out again in a very precise geometric pattern yeah. and we can have many different shapes and uh, 
crossing it around crossing in kind of two different directions. And then Jean Claude is making his own wheel, uh, worm, worm wheel, wheel, worm and wheel system using standard wi uh, worm, which is a, a, a M. Uh, this one is a M10 uh, yes. thread. And here, to cut the, 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 the wheel, I use a tap on the milling machine, or it could be made with using the, the, the lathe. Yes, but, uh, so you can choose the ratios you want, yeah. and you can get on and spend an hour or two, yeah. instead of ordering some sign or something to your right, continuing. Did you say you built this? Uh, you built this after, after the, at the ideas. You built this in one month. Yes, I did the, all the machine in one month, including the universal cutting frame, drilling cutting frame, uh, fixed tool holder. Which is a fixed tool holder. This is the fixed tool holder, which is the same uh, as the one I have on the big machine. Mm -hmm. Et ça, ça, ça se met là à la place de... Ici, là, à la place, ah, de, à la place ça. de ça. Ah, yeah. oh, là, là. Very, very rigid. Yeah, yeah. And all standardized, so each plunge cutter, yeah. fixed tool, will be exactly the height. Mm -hmm. Et là il y a un peu de ça, ça rouge ça a un peu, du... Oui non mais ça a traîné dans la voiture ah, pendant ouais. les voyages ah, et, ça et... Peu, ouais. et puis ça, ça rouille. Ah, ouais. Et comme je veux pas mettre trop de graisse dessus pour pas me ouais. salir les doigts, ouais. Ouais. ça rouille. <rire> C'est au choix. Il faudrait que je le vernisse. Un ah, ouais. petit coup de vernis là-dessus, ça devrait le faire. Non bah écoute, c'est un mois. C'est un mois. Dans un mois. <rire> <rire> Mais quand c'est un mois, c'est un mois à ne faire que ça. Ah oui, oui, j'imagine. Ouais. Ouais, il, euh... il y a de la mécanique à faire pendant un mois. Ouais, ouais. Et puis, euh... And then, this strong bar here going through everything. It's, too... it's, it's, it's also rocking. The, the, rock, the rock is happening down here, so yeah. from, it's rocking, so you could put a tail stock here, yeah. and you could support a long seat, mm -hmm. you wish. It's okay. So, full of good ideas. Ah, it's uh, nine years of uh, ideas, you know. Because I stopped nine years ago for retirement, and I, uh, I started to become a full-time uh, turner. <laughs> c'est ça. Sur la vidéo, euh, elle a été faite il y a longtemps. 2012. Ouais, c'est ça. Et alors là, tu dis, euh, ça fait deux ans que je fais du tournage d'art et ouais. tu montes des trucs absolument <laughs> incroyables. Non, mais c'est ça. J'avais commencé en 2000, euh, fin 2009, fin 2010, en fait. Les premières pièces, j'achète de 2009-2010. Moi j'ai commencé à tourner en 78 et j'en suis toujours. Euh, moi j'ai beau zéro. Bah non, ça Moi aussi je sais faire ça. J'ai commencé à tourner en, en 75, je pense. Ouais. Ouais. Ouais, ça. Ouais. Non, maintenant on a enlevé le pompage. Ouais. Ouais. So I, I take off the pumping and I will use uh, oh. And the, the similar yeah. home cut gears here. But, but here I have uh, 
Nine? No, I don't remember. If it's 90 or 180, I don't remember. Yeah, it could be 180. Tiff, yes. You can in, in, or, in order to have two degrees per teeth. Uh, to do the phasing. Uh, 180, uh, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, 180, and now we just go around here and hit the video. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Instead of, uh, of doing uh, manual engraving on your flutes, <laughs> you could make some uh, guilloche work yes. on, the, on the ring. Also. Oh yes, yes, yes. You could be made on silver. Yes. Except I don't, do not want to crowd too much into my good friend Casey's case. Casey's so into guilloche for his rings and stuff. He's doing very well. So, uh, He's doing the Yoshi on, on silver? Yes, silver. Okay, yeah. Quite. Both the pumping yeah. and flat. So I make two, two turns. The first cut leaves some, leaves some, uh, some dust. Right. And the second, right. take, take them off. All right.